So, y'all, I'm out and about, and I have my mask on. This is my homemade mask. I made it with a sock. Mm-hmm. Not a sock that I don't worn before. It was a sock that I never worn before. So, uh, I want y'all to think I'm out here just smelling feet. Yeah, right. Because that's not it in something. So, I Googled this place, Treehouse Nursery, and I found me a pecan tree for ten dollars so I got the pecan tree and now I'm about to go try to find me some seeds from somewhere so I will be back and hopefully without the mask okay peace love and light welcome to Tommy Bites Caroline Homestead you are new to my channel welcome and welcome back so hit the red button hurry up hurry up hit that red button for me help me out help okay. me out. like the video comment down below share the video share the video share the video so I have a treat so what I have is some pecan trees remember I said I had those pecan trees well I'm back with the pecan trees I actually bought one and then I went down to my sister's house and I took some cuttings from her tree so um, what I'm about to do is I'm about to root them and grow them. And I'm going to show you a, a nice, neat technique. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. What I'm about to show you is this is my pecan cutting that I got from my sister's tree. And what I did was I cut this as close as I could to the, the uh, tree branch itself. And I'm going to root this entire branch in some water to try to get roots from it. But before I do that, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to clip it right here where the brown meets the green. And use sterilized scissors or clippings or whatever you're going to use and just clip it off like that. You see that? I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. I'm just go through these and clip them off. Close as I can get it. And what you're doing is you're taking this off to allow the tree to focus on regrowing. If you leave all of that on there, because all the nutrients are going to go to all of those leaves, every extension of this branch, that's what it's going to go to. Now, the ones that I'm leaving on here, I'm just going to clip them in half. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me turn it this way. Now, can you see me? I'm just clipping those leaves in half. And that's going to put more tension down here at the roots that I need. So this whole one is going to go into the water. You see the first one? Just clip those off. I want it to be like that. The leaves that are left, cut them in half. Just like that. This, I will put inside of a potato so I'm gonna do the rest of them like that and then I'll let you see what I'm gonna do with this um, pecan tree it was already if you can see that it was already forming and blossoming the pecans that's what that is so I know it's a good tree I know it's okay y'all I'm back that took a while because I had so many and I had this is nine clipping cuttings right here of the pecan tree and then I, if this works like they say it works and this is trial and error for me then I will have 17 pecan trees so anyway y'all so I have the potatoes here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hole in each one I don't have my little I'm not using a drill they say you can use a drill I ain't using no drill we're gonna use this scissors and we just gonna make a hole in the potato like so hopefully that's 
big enough. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the um, the clipping in there after I dip it in the rooting mixture that I made. I'm gonna try another experiment with the rest of them and just put them in. So what we do is we have honey in here. You need like an organic honey. I didn't have organic honey. So we're gonna use what I have because I use like um, low sugar honey. And then I have my cinnamon right here. And in order to get the cinnamon to stick, you're gonna take it and dip that in in that honey, just a little bit. And then you're gonna take the cinnamon, put it around in there, not a lot, just enough. You can see that, just enough. And then you're gonna take it, and you're just gonna put it in there, as deep as you can get it. And that's one that's gonna sit like that. But what I'm gonna do is, Take some more honey on my finger and use it as a filling all around the sides to fill it in. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow, I might make that hole too big, but that's neither here nor there. It's done now. But what it's going to do is it's going to allow the nutrients from the potato as it rots to feed into the pecan and can you see what I, see what I did? Put it right there. There you go. And what I'll do is I'm going to leave some out and some I'm going to this little boy on this little motorcycle is getting on my last nerve. <sighs> country now in Columbia. Um, in Columbia, South Carolina, if you didn't know. Waiting for the day that I can take my butt to North Carolina in the mountains. So, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to come back and you, I'll have them all done by then. So, we're dipping. Of course, I'm going to edit out some of this video so it won't be so long. Put it in the cinnamon and then we're gonna see that hole stick it in that hole just like that I probably should have did that opposite way but anyway take some of this honey and put it around there as a filling and there you have it that's another pecan cutting right there so I'm gonna do the rest of it and I'll be right back this is your cinnamon and honey root mix. If you don't, don't want to buy the um, rooting mixture that they have. Those the are done under the sun. That little boy getting on my last nerve. Last. Those look good. I'm back. So, what I got going on now is my bucket. My five gallon bucket fill it with water, not all the way up. And what I'm doing is here it goes. From the pecan, I have these left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this end in the water, these ends in the water, and I'm gonna grow roots that way. Because I got a lot of these cuttings from it, y'all. Look at all these cuttings. I'm gonna do it in three different ways. Potato, the water, and the soil. And we're gonna one gives us the best root. That way I'll know when I go get some more clippings from her because I want a bunch of pecan trees, y'all. A bunch of them. So let's go. Okay. I think that might be enough. I don't wanna drown them in water, so let me see where I'm at put these in there and see what happens. We don't need a lot of water for it because they kind of bump down in there. So we can just dump a little bit of the cinnamon in there, do it that way. And what honey is left, mix it around 
in the water. The next thing. On to the next thing. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So for the next method, we're going to put some soil in here. I just got through mixing my soil up. I mixed some perlite with some garden and vegetable uh, flower soil, some topsoil, and I had a little bit of the black cow left over in here. I didn't want to open up my other bag. So I mixed all that together and I have that in here. So I'm about to fill this up. And then I'm going to take these cuttings from the pecan tree and I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to use the uh, what, little bit of honey and cinnamon I have left to dip on the ends of those. And I'm going to put it in here. So that's going to be another method. So let's get started. Let's get it started. I got the busted bags, okay? If you can find the busted bags, get the busted bags. Because that was pretty much a whole bag. It's just somebody had opened it. And they only charged me $2 for a, a huge bag. I don't even know what size that bag is. You can't see what I'm doing. But I just dipped some honey. Cutting, you can just plant right in without having to do the other steps. So we're gonna see which one does better. And so there you have it. There's my pecan cuttings inside of the soil container. You can make that out. I have my pecan cuttings in the potato, and the potato will give it its nutrients that it needs as the potato dries out. No watering needed. Um, and then here is my other cuttings in the water to grow roots. So we'll see out of those three which one gives me the best um, outcome. And we'll be back in about three weeks to four weeks for an update. I forgot that I was going to do three of these right here. as well so I'm doing it four different ways Basically, there it is in a nutshell. That's one way. Make sure you give your pecans 
a lot of water you cannot overdo it with the pecans they need a lot of water so make sure you water daily also when I'm done with this I will take a white trash bag and I will put them in the white trash bag seal the bag up to make humidity so y'all thank y'all for joining me if you are new to my channel again please subscribe like share and comment down below share me out with the neighbor with the friend thank you and um remember i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are that person go out and spread god's love peace love and light thank y'all so much for joining tommy bites carolina homestead peace love and light welcome to tommy bites bye y'all this is one of my grandkids mason that's who you heard in the background big mouth